time for the book quester as it is I, Aaron the book quester. Today I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, review this book, Escape from Mr. Lemoncello's Library by Chris Kravenstein. So this book is well a book that was recommended by one of the per people who has watched my channel. So thanks to that guy, I read it. It was a delicious treat, and here I am with this book. About to review it. So this book, Escape from Mr. Lemon Shell's Library, is like is quite like one of Willy Wonka's books. The chosen, the chosen kids, the ones who will inherit a fortune. Hmm, never heard of that before, or did we? Didn't we hear something about a chocolate factory and a madman eccentric? A person who used made-up words? The original madman, as it says, Willy Wonka himself. And Mr. Lemoncello is a worthy successor, as the book indicates. Look, the thing is, this whole book is about a group of kids going inside Mr. Lemoncello's library. It was, it's the first grand reopening since a really long time and the town hasn't seen a library in a very long time either. And there a deathly competition starts between a, between twelve kids. They they have to solve they have to use their wits, smarts and their brains and their reading skills to find their way out of Mr. Lemoncello's library. And the winner and the winner shall shall have like a lot of money and be famous because they they will advertise Mr. Lemoncello's well games. You see, Mr. Lemoncello's are persons who made a lot of board games and video games and of all the all those games and fun activities of all time. And he, mind you, is like um is like a Willy Wonka of board games, the games, and all kinds of fun. Mr. Lemoncello himself. And this whole book cover is inside Mr. Lemoncello's library. It is quite amazing, and it's filled with clues, and it's like a treasure hunt building. And they're locked in, and they will be provided, they will be provided by food, and it will be like the Hunger Games. Except there's no swords and arrows, which will be fatal and dangerous for the children, and lots and lots of food. As as our dear Mr. Lemoncello said, the main characters, Kyle, as you see, Kyle Keely, goes inside, is one of the 12 essay winners, who was just by Mr. Lemoncello himself, and he went, he was the chosen one of the chosen twelve to go into the Mr. Lemoncello's library much more earlier than the general public, and he will be the one who would lead the winning team. The other the other twelve, many 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 were eliminated, and soon enough there was only seven, and from the seven four were in Kyle's team, and three were in Charles' team. Charles, the stuck-up little boy that no one likes. And, as I indicate, there is always one of those pesky, irritable guys in at least the school. And it's your, and it's your duty to know who that is. And, and so it's a book of thrilling mystery, adventure, finding clues, thrill, and books truly awesome. And uh, and I think Kyle may, Kyle thinking of the idea to make a team and split split the reward to to each other in the team would was a splendid a splendid idea and and not and not many would have would have thought of it because they wanted the reward to themselves and I think the main character is a very good person and. It's a very good, entertaining to read book. And like always, your bookquester, Erin the Bookquester.